Hi everyone, welcome to Questions and Answers with Ballistic Advantage, or Q&A with BA for short, if you're cool, if you're one of the cool kids and you like to call it the cool name. Anyway, this is Clint Hansen, I'm Whoa. Sarah, I'm not that cool, but I am here to not only like help this guy answer your questions, but also to celebrate fall. And I just wanna talk about fall for a second. So, it's officially fall. And the last time we recorded, it wasn't officially fall yet, even though the episode aired when it was officially fall. So we're here today recording and it's officially fall and I am just stoked about it. <sighs> I have had so many pumpkin spice lattes. That's why I'm so crazy today. Also, I brought my very own pumpkin. Isn't it cute? It's so cute. If you guys wanna name my pumpkin, comment below. This is getting weird. Let's move on to the questions. That's a good idea. <laughs> we, we have a question from our friend, Dave Hartman, host of the Three Gun Show podcast. And Dave wants to say, I have one of your 14 and a half 556 performance series Hanson barrels in my truck gun and I freaking love it. We freaking love you, Dave. Also, you guys have just been saying a lot of lovely things and encouraging us a lot with this new video series and we just so appreciate it. So please keep commenting, keep leaving us questions because we love it. His question is, okay. how is the effectiveness of the 11 degree target crown influenced by the end user's choice of a muzzle device? Since pinning slash welding my flash hider on the barrel, I have often wondered if that target crown is now wasted. What do you think? It's not wasted, and I think ultimately we don't really want the muzzle device to influence you know, the benefits of the target crown or, or influence as little as possible. If a muzzle device is machined improperly or there's a mistake made on it, you know, whether it's uh, concentricity you know, or how it's threading on the barrel, rather, um, that can influence one way or another for accuracy, but we can get into that a little bit later. Uh, but basically what the 11 degree target crown is doing, it's creating a uniform expansion of gases. Okay, that's happening behind the muzzle device. It's going to allow your round to be stable. It's a very sm a small community out there that really shoots with just a thread protector and no muzzle device at all. A lot of people do want to use a muzzle brake or a, a suppressor mount for their suppressor. So, you know, you're, you're absolutely getting the benefit of the 11 degree target crown. Um, even a flat crown is going to create a small uh, expansion of gases to stabilize the round as well. Yes? I have a question. Okay. Mr. Hansen, does the muzzle device affect accuracy? It can. In fact, the, uh, the rare times where we may have a return or someone else calls in with an accuracy report and they want to know um, how to diagnose it, the first thing we're going to tell them is to remove the muzzle device and shoot the barrel without anything on it. And that's a good process of elimination to try to figure out if, uh, you know, if there's something wrong with the barrel and or the muzzle device. Perfect. That's all Thanks, I got. Clint. You're Thanks, welcome. Clint, for that answer. Thanks, Steve, for your fantastic question. We so appreciate it. Guys, if you like this video, give us a big thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and uh, hit that little uh, notification icon, the little bell, so that you can see all of our newest videos. We have a new Q&A video every Thursday. Did you know that? It's super exciting, almost as exciting as fall. Um, and yeah, if you have a question for this guy and you wanna see it get answered on our channel, make sure to comment below or you can send us an email at askclint at bamfg.com. Yeah, we can't wait to see what you guys send us. Was I holding this the whole time? And I am super excited. I am so excited. I love fall. Also, Thanksgiving is my favorite holiday. You look surprised. <laughs> so I'm getting I, excited. I just love Thanksgiving because I'm Sarah from the marketing team and I'm here with my pumpkin. My pumpkin because it's fall. I love fall. Oh my gosh, and pumpkin flavored everything. Pumpkin pie, pumpkin bread, pumpkin coffee. Guys, it's fall. It's fall. Fall. It is. Yeah. It's fall. It's fall. Jesus Christ. Fall. Um, yeah. It inspires me. You guys, you should help me name my pumpkin. Or if you want to share your enthusiasm for fall or Thanksgiving or, you know, leaves, pumpkins, acorns, squirrels, whatever. Do that too. I would love to see those comments. Who doesn't like a good pumpkin? And I have three other pumpkins at home too. I have a little pumpkin family. If you want to name them all, you should definitely comment below and whoever comes up with the best ideas I will use. This is getting weird. 